A growing number of companies are filing lawsuits against the Trump administration demanding a reversal of the China tariff policy and refunds for tariff payments that these companies have already made. You've seen some of these individual companies making headlines for these lawsuits in recent days, but we've now learned that the number is as high as more than 3,400 companies that have launched a coordinated massive legal effort against the Trump administration to try to affect this policy change. Among the companies that are included in these lawsuits, Tesla, Ford, Home Depot, and Taylor, Orvis, many household names. We've reached out to the Trump administration, specifically to the Office of the U.S. Trade Representative, which is the first of many uh, federal agencies that are listed in these lawsuits. We'll let you know when we have a response, but it is certainly uh, a sign that corporate America is uh, fighting back against the administration for the costly tariff policy uh, two years now in the making. Melissa. Kayla, thank you. Kayla Tausche. Um, I guess it's worth a try, Tim. Maybe at least they could get a stay on the tariffs. Yeah, it, it's interesting. I, I, I think on some level it, it could be procedural. And I, you know, I, I certainly bet they hope it's not political. Some of those companies mentioned, I think, have some alignment, so it seems, with this administration. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I, I think this is a, a, a dynamic where the, the tariffs have forced a lot of companies to go outside of their traditional supplier zone and, and to get into, uh, I, I think, new manufacturing. But, but ultimately, um, I, I do think that the, the, the tariffs have had a benefit to some of those companies in there as well. But it, it just seems to me that uh, these are the type of headlines that you're going to always see around you know, tariffs, which typically, um, in many cases, haven't worked. Look at, look at how they've certainly uh, hit the steel industry, some of the mining industries, and, and even the auto industry. Uh, it hasn't been good.